hate to talk over what Frank's playing, but I'll just explain the workflow to you. So essentially, in the earlier bit, we showed you how to use an envelope follower to address the filter, and then also using the master clock from the Leslie to control the tempo synchronization on the Erbeverb unit here from Make Noise. So again, we've got a combination of time and envelope following so that's how Frank is getting some of the textures he's doing but for fun what we did was we also sent the um, at a division of three from the uh, clock divider we put it into the um, input of the DPO and set the oscillator to the left into LFO mode and it's kind of doing its own time but it's resetting based on the value of three to kind of create this interesting drone that's going on in the back. Now, also, we didn't use a pitch follower today. I mean, you know, you could install a pitch mod, uh, module and have it follow the guitar perfectly, depending on the, on the manufacturer. I think Analog Systems does a good one. But uh, you can also disting, I believe, from Expert Sleepers can be used as a pitch follower. I'm not sure. Comments in this section. <laughs> but anyway. What we wanted today was to represent the sound of the guitar, the sound of the pickups. So this is why we're using the modular more as a kind of like a time-based effects ecosystem and also creating this nice little drone here so Frank can play along. thing about the guitar too is that you've got some wonderful possibilities with what the Leslie can do and that is quite simply that these two pickups here if I'm correct are rotating in sync in time again LFO is coming out of the Leslie so that vibrato effect is also being tapped for time base uh, basically for clock and then you've got this uh, pickup here behind the bridge this uh, jag style pickup so you can get a rotation between neck and behind bridge, which is a really cool texture. Plus, you've also got the piezos in the guitar, and particularly the piezos in the headstock, they've got a separate output. And I mean, today we're really only, you know, we're only scratching the possibilities of this. I mean, it's up to the individual artist's imagination how you want to use it. But you've also got a piezo out, which means that's another audio source and that could be used for, yeah, whatever your heart desires. <laughs> 